It was very tense. Sorry, one second, you guys. What am I doing? Yes, got him. There we go, we got him. Okay, so I got black in round one. Let's play g6, bishop g7, of course. I guess I'll play a6, b5, maybe d6 as well. Let's see what he's gonna do here. Seems fine, yeah, I turned it up just a touch, just a smidgen. Okay, let's go here, Fianchito. Okay, d6, probably knight d7, knight f6. Plays a4, I can play b4 if I want to. Um, I'm gonna play c6 a little bit different. Something a touch off the beaten path here. Um, hmm. Huh. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done so. I guess I have to play e5. I'm not so happy about this. Let's take with the pawn, go knight f6 and castles, of course. Let's see what he does here. Um, I guess I'll go here, just castles and takes. I've never been to Innsbruck, no you guys, I never have been there. I'm gonna go queen e7, b4, c5, maybe knight c5 eventually, I should be doing pretty well. No, you should not suggest moves. Um, I'm gonna take with a c pawn just to open up the scope. Don't know if it's the best capture, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's go here, consolidate the pawn. Um, I can play b4, but I think queen c7 and knight b6 makes a lot of sense here as well. So this looks pretty pretty stable so far. Plays h3. I guess knight c5 makes sense. Hit the bishop, hit the pawn. I have b4 as well to le leverage uh, leverage the pressure on the pawn at e4. Let's see what he does. Maybe he has to go knight d2, which I don't really like. Then rook d8. Should be very good for me. Let's go here, stabilize. Looks very, very good for me. Okay, it goes rook c1. Um, what's the idea? I guess I'll go here, knight f4, knight d4. Okay, let's go here, try to put pressure on the bishop, pressure on the knight. Maybe knight d5 is a threat somewhere as well. This looks very scary for white. Okay, knight f3, very logical. Guess I'll trade, probably play queen c5 here. Maybe like rook d6 and rook d8 at some point. Okay, let's go here, maybe knight f4 next move. Still very complicated. Thank you so much to TJ Heasy for the 22 months. If g3, I just take by the way, because of the pin. Let's go here. Still no g3 because I can take anyway. He's thinking for a very long time here, so I, I think I've got the advantage a little bit. Let's go here, target the queen. Okay, now he plays queen c1. I guess I'll go here, put pressure on the pawn. Play against this backwards pawn if I can on c3. It's still not clear cut how I'm better, but I feel like I should be better. Take us there, logical. I'm just gonna go here, maybe stack the rooks, maybe just drop back, pressure the pawn on e4. Long term, this should be very good for me. Take us rook d3, of course, I'll go here, hit the pawn on e4. Plays rook e3, very reasonable. Um, it's not so easy for me to actually do anything here. It's kind of annoying. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go here and trade maybe. Try to play against the weak pawns a little bit if I can. It's not easy though. Queen d2 logical. Let's go here, target the pawn.
thinking for a long time here. Let's see what he comes up with. Okay, let's go here. Target the pawn again. New York C for the triple stack. Thanks so much to Hikaru for the win for the three gifted. Thanks so much to Hikaru for the win. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, we'll go here. Stabilize. Let's go here. Idea rook a4. Pressure this way. Should be winning now with knight e4 or bishop e4 as well. Seems like the right capture. Let's trade this way. C3 is weak. Queen C6 is a big threat. This should just be winning. Let's go uh, here. Threat and checkmate. I rook C2, I think. Hitting both. I can go queen out. Uh, ooh, we found a tricky move. So it takes rook E2. So I guess I go here. He can't guard everything. Everything's too weak here. All right, we got the dub. One up, one down. Very good start. Let's see who else is playing. Let's see who else is playing. Um, let's wait for some games. Good start. Very, very good start. Uh, maybe king f2 is a move or king g2 sorry queen e4 yeah looks very very good for ronak here he should win this game pretty cleanly i have on both title tuesdays actually i won it the first week they started having two but yeah anyway long long way to go though if rookie won i guess you go work f1 Is Levy playing today? Uh, I don't know. He might be. He might not be. I'm not actually sure. Rook F1. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really pay attention to such things, honestly. So, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, King F2. I guess maybe A3 or something, but I, I don't know. Maybe B3 here. Just B3 and consolidate. B3. B3 maybe? I think it's Black's King is getting in here though. Maybe Rook C3, Rook A3. Thank you so much to uh, Eleonardo for the five gift or for the 14 months. Thank you so much for the uh, 14. Uh, I don't know if I like this. Here takes and Rook D7, still very tricky. Rook D7 of course. Rook G7, Rook G6. It should be a draw. Rook G6, Rook E6. Rook D6, Rook D8. I mean, this is a draw with correct play. D8 and D6, D7. King F3. Rook E5, missed. King F4. Gotta go. Oh. Wait, now it's. Wait. D6. Look at F6. This should be a draw. Yeah, you check and start pushing. G4, G5. You can't trade though. You have to check and go here. You lose by you lose to check check. Terrible. Terrible. Horrible. Horrible finish. All right, so that's round one. Let's see, see what else is going on. A couple more games. This is takes, takes. Rookie four, maybe. Okay, ninety five. F one, ninety six, ninety six. Rookie two, and then F four, F four. Okay, and welcome to Title Tuesday, you guys. Okay, that's terrible. Okay. All right, so round two coming up in a second, so getting ready for it. Yeah, it was not good. I'm being so confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm very confused. Let's see what's happening. Okay, so yeah, round two should be starting momentarily. 
Yeah, very, very bad. So we get white in round two, so let's go knight f3. Why is the chess account streaming tied Tuesday? I don't know, you guys. Not sure. But uh, we are we are playing in it, and we're trying to go two for two today. Wait, it's my move? Whoops. It's Castle. I won in the last round of Title Tuesday with the same opening, so I'll do the same setup here. Who is El Candado? I don't know. No idea. Probably go Queen E2, Knight C3, or maybe A3, depending. Okay, let's go Queen E2, probably Knight C3, E4. It's an idea. I mean, I guess I'm going to play Knight C3 to stop A4 here, and then I can play E4, E5, or at least it's my idea. El Candado, yeah, I don't know who it is. Okay, plays e5. Hmm. I'm going to knight b5, hit the bishop, hit the pawn here. Okay, plays rook e8. I can obviously trade. I think I should just trade, maybe go e4. Oh, wait, I just hung a pawn. Whoops. Oh my gosh, I just hung a pawn. Maybe he'll miss it or something, but whoops. Okay, he misses it. I'm very lucky. Um, let's go ID two. Very very poor. Jeez. Yeah, go C six. I guess we'll play A four to stop any A four pushes. Maybe rookie one. Yeah. Very very poor. Okay, queen C five. Well, let's go here. I right, bishop A three at some moment to hit the queen as well. Uh, let's go here. Just there. I guess I'll play rookie one to centralize the rook. Maybe I'll take. Maybe I'll drop back. Pretty balanced position so far. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Let's go here. Target the queen. See what he does here. He's using a lot of time, burning a ton of time. There's 97. Okay, I guess I'm gonna trade and trade. I think I'm gonna go knight f1, knight e3, maybe, or knight f3 is an idea, depending. Okay, takes with a knight, which I think is a slight mistake. Not like a big mistake, but a very slight error. Um, e4, or I guess I'll go to c4 because I can take with a pawn. Knight b4, I have rookie 2, or even takes and just rook b1. I also have rook b1 later to hit everything. This should be very good for me. Can't really complain. York, New York. Okay, now I think... The question is if I... Tr I I'm going to go for this. I don't know if this is good, but... I see a weak pawn, so I assume I this should be good. Guess I'll go here, create a threat towards the king. The A pawn is very scary here. This should just be winning for me objectively. I also have about 4 2. Yeah, okay, I should just win. Okay, let's just trade. I think I can just start running this A pawn up the board here immediately. It should just be game over. Pawn goes. Bishop goes here, A7, A8. Okay, we're gonna be two out of two. Very, very good start, can't complain. New York, New York. Okay, two out of two. Let's see who else is playing. 
I think someone should kick Hannes to door for the three months. I think someone should kick Hannes. It looks like on Draken. Okay, I mean his pawns are, and bishop are terrible, so white, so black must be winning. Okay, so we're on two out of two. Pretty good start thus far. Can't complain. Yeah, pretty good stuff so far. Okay, bishop e2, probably b4, c4, something wants to be winning. Maybe rook e1? But this has to be winning for white. I look tired. I am a little bit tired. Um, but again, it is what it is, and you play title two, so you try to do your best. That's all there is to it. We're on two out of two, which is uh, obviously just what the doctor ordered. Parham also on two out of two, as I think you guys can tell. You looking good? Thanks for stream. Oh no problem. I am a little bit tired, but yeah, I feel I feel relatively okay. But definitely a little bit of jet lag. Yeah, for sure a little bit of jet lag. Um, how's my training house comfortable? I feel pretty good. Can't complain. Um, so yeah, it's it's all good. I'm playing till the end. Of course, I'm playing till the end. I mean, the goal is to play title two and win. It's not to play five games and drop out. That's not the purpose. Where have you been lately? Good luck in TT. I've been streaming, but just not, not just not that frequently. That's all. Um, so okay, B four, B three. Okay, this game's over. Um, still quite a few games going. Let's see Jeffrey's game. What do we have? Um, night before. Yeah, Jeffrey's gonna win. He's got two pawns. They just roll. Takes takes a four, a three, a two. Yeah, GG's. Have I been to the beach? No, I haven't. I mean, I've, I've, I've walked by there, but I haven't, like, gone to the beach. But, yeah. Should be winning for black, but it's not super trivial. Okay, rook d1 or rook g6, but I guess rook d1 has to be the move. Rook g6, rook d7, maybe some tricks here. Hmm, this should be winning somehow for black, but it's not trivial. Hmm. It's a check, of course. Rook h6, rook h7. Rook f6, maybe? Rook, uh, no, c2, c2. c2 just wins. Uh, yeah. Rook's hang. Alright, so this game's over as well. So, okay, so a bunch of games in the book. So we're heading into round three. Wow, Four Seasons Madrid, a thousand minimum per night. I'm not at the Four Seasons. That's not the site hotel. I don't know exactly who said that was the site hotel, but that's not the site hotel for the tournament in Madrid. Whoever, I've heard multiple people talk about the Four Seasons in Madrid. That's not the site hotel. That's not the playing site. I, I don't know why people people are buying that. Cause it's not. I'm not going to tell you what the site hotel is, but this, that's not the site hotel. So yeah, Google and Wiki say it. It's not the Four Seasons. It's a different hotel. <laughs> but that's good to know that they're saying it's a four seasons it's a different hotel the the site is obviously the holiday and no it's not um it's not i've been actually to be fair you guys I, they, they probably are confused with the four seasons in moscow where uh when i played in 2016 the site hotel was the four seasons right on red square in moscow but that's yeah, not what it is now Okay, e7. Yeah, now you build a bridge. Just build a bridge. Checkmate. Yeah. Okay, round up wins two out of two. I've not run into other players. Uh, I'm in. A, I'm not in Madrid right now, honestly. But I am in a city where there are two other super grand masters right now. So um, you never know. Maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll go look at something with them. You never know. So yeah. I'm not in Barcelona, no. I'm in San Sebastian. There's Knight H4. Um, this looks... Knight H4. King D2 and Knight H4. Same thing, by the way. Oh, 
Oh, he blunders knight e7. Oh my gosh. Um, although there's still knight h4. Knight h4? No, now d5. He misplayed this. Should be winning for black here. Takes a knight e4. Knight knight e5. Yeah, knight e5. Takes, takes. C3 should be winning, yeah. Um, what, what are you saying? So close to the UK, when do I plan to visit London? I don't know when I'll be in London again. No idea. White should have drawn this game. White definitely misplayed this, but yeah. All right, so that should be the last game of round two, heading into round three. Uh, Eric's game is over, okay. If you're playing as Vukor, let's play st standard, I guess. Very nice food in San Sebastian, go to La Concha. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm aware. Okay, I'm gonna go here, I can take, I can play C6 at some point. This is all pretty standard so far. Queen A4 is not the move. Um, Wait a second, wait a second. Let me just think for a second. Trying to go knight c6. Problem is if I take and go knight e4, it's just going to be a draw. That's the problem with that idea. I'm going to do something slightly dubious. I'm going to play this in c6, knight c7. I hope this works out. This might not work. Okay, it goes rook d1, which I think is a mistake. Wait, maybe mistake is too strong a word to use, but not the best move. Because now I can take with the c pawn, I think, and go knight c7. I think I'm holding here at least. It's not like I'm better or anything, but I should not be much worse. Only very slightly worse here. It goes e4. Now I can play d4. It's probably not right. I kind of want to do it for some weird reason. Why do I want to do it? Hmm. Knight c7 is a safe way to just play the game. Um, I'm going to do it. I don't know why. I'm going to take and take and probably take. It probably is very wrong by me, but I kind of want to. I want to sack my queen. Why not? Take with a bishop here. It's all pretty normal so far. So I want to go bishop e7 back and maybe a check. I can also play bishop c7 as well. I also have a6, b5. If I can uh, develop my pieces, I should be fine. Let's go here. It's a little bit dangerous in general terms what I'm doing, but maybe it'll work. I just feel like sacking my queen. I'm not really sure why, but I just want to. Okay, he plays knight d5, which just seems very strange. Let's go here. I don't know why he's sacking his knight. It seems like desperation. Um, let's go here, hit, put pressure on the pawn. Still very hard to play, but I assume I'm better if I play this precisely. Okay, it goes rook c2. Makes some sense. I think I'm just gonna go... Um, hmm, how do I do this actually? I guess I'll go here. Okay, now King F1 doesn't seem like the right move either. Uh, but somehow I have to unwind this. I guess I'll go here, maybe Bishop B6 to hit the Queen. I don't know if this is the right play, but it seems like an idea at least. I also can go Knight B6 and Rook E8. Okay, it goes D6. I mean, I guess I trade. I go here. 
This should long term be better for me. I just have to play this precisely. Knight c4 is b3, bishop b6. Maybe, wait, rook e8 d7. I think this is okay because d7, rook d7. Okay, but now I blockade and now I should win the game, I assume. Or I can blunder. Or wait. It's like this. Very nearly a huge blunder by me. I think I'm okay, kind of. Queen C8. Now here I have to somehow find just a way to set up and hold. I'll go here. I guess I'll play H5. Why not? Uh, I missed A4. Shoot. I guess I go here, knight a5. Yeah, I completely bungled this. I think I can still save this, but... I do have rook h5, maybe? Hopefully this isn't a blunder. This could be a big blunder, but now I go. Oh, wait, this is scary. Five ninety six. I'm thinking too long as well. Let's just go back. It goes king g4, but now my knight comes in, I think. Hmm. Why did I do this? Got to keep moving. Thank you so much, appreciate it. This is very tense, sorry, one second you guys. What am I doing? Yes, got him. There we go. We got him. <sighs> crazy game, crazy game, crazy win. Again, knights are very tricky at the end, but man, wild game. We got the win. Very, very tough. Very, very tough game. Yeah, very, very tough. 
We got the win, move to three out of three. I mean, what a game. Let's see what's happening in this one. Should be winning for blocks. Well, that was very intense and very insane. Yeah, both. This is actually a draw now, by the way, this game. H3, rook f3. Terrible. All right. Round four coming up in a second. We're on three out of three, keeping the dream alive of a perfect score. So let's see what's going to happen. Okay, it's fine. Let's go knight f3. We're playing MSB. Okay. Pretty normal so far. Really, really tough game. Yeah, really, really tough game. Guess I'll play G4 and H4 anyway. Let's go C3 here. I'll obviously take at some point. I'm just delaying it as long as I can. Oh, uh, I guess I'll take now. Let's go here. Can play B4. I can also play D4. I'm gonna go B4 and maybe D4, maybe Knight C4. Very strange position. Queen B3 is an idea as well. It's crazy you can hold for so long. It's crazy positions. Yeah, I mean, it was a very bad position. It's very hard to play, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is just chess. It is still chess. Yeah, we're playing Matthias Bluebaum from uh, Germania. He's thinking for a very long time here, so I guess he's looking for a specific setup. What is he looking for here? Hmm. Queen b6, okay, so I guess I'll go here, hit the pawn. Go c4, just open it up a little bit here. e4, maybe d4? Maybe. Queen a4, wait, this gives me g5, wait. This gives me g5, let me think, g5. I guess I'll go for it, I don't know what's going on here. This is gonna be a wild game. If takes, I take and take. Moves to knight, I mean, I well, I've already committed to this, so I might as well go for it. Yeah, very wild position. I don't know what's going on here. I have no idea. This is a twitchy forehead for the nine. Thank you, in strict train for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I think trying to sack the queen was a big mistake, objectively. This I don't understand at all either. Wait, um, maybe I do. But Trey takes, 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 rook a six. I'm gonna go h4, consolidate, and king e2, maybe. I mean, idea is knight c4, maybe bishop c6. So I think I'm gonna go, hmm. Let's just go here right away. Knight e4 is also a move, maybe. Don't know which square is better, but I guess target the pawn. Let's go here, target the bishop. I also have d4 here too, or bishop d2. I think I'm just gonna go here, trade and go rook b7, play a very simple free flowing idea. Will I stream more this week? I might stream, uh, the R I'll stream the RC, maybe I'll stream on Monday, but no, the candidates is actually right around the corner, so I'll be I'll, I'll be streaming my regular schedule. I think I'm actually much better here. Pawns are very weak, especially with the infiltration on B7. Yeah, let's go here. This doesn't look very attractive for black.
Thank you so much to Cracker Smasher for the uh, for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate. King D8. Does it stop anything? Actually, it kind of does. Let's just go here and trade. Keep it simple. Hmm. And the problem is the E5 is so weak. Okay, that's a free pawn. Gonna get a win. We're gonna be on four out of four, you guys. Uh, unless I do something insane, which could still happen. But let's just go here. Let's go here. If F6, I just take. This has to be winning. It's just a matter of precise play. Let's go A4. We're up, what, two pawns? Yeah, I've got an IP6 tricks. Okay, we got the win. Oh, is he not gonna resign? Okay, resigns, okay. I was gonna I was gonna actually make a bunch of queens or rooks. I would have done six rooks if he didn't resign, but oh well, he uh, he doesn't let me get it unfortunately, but that's life. So yeah, we get the win. We're on four out of four. Pretty good stuff so far. Can't complain. Uh, let's see who else is playing. That was a very clean win though. Let's see. Why sub mode only so nobody can write uh, something silly about a random move? He resigns his mate in one. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, we get the win. I mean, many, many things win there for me. Bornick is in a lot of trouble here, by the way. He might just lose this game. Yeah, it takes king e1, queen d5. I mean, this is just, ooh. d2 went, oh, wait. Takes. This still should be winning. But now this is tricky to win for black, actually. Bornick might survive now. Maybe, yeah, but h5, queen e3. Maybe queen h3. Gotta move. Queen g4, or okay, I don't like that. Maybe just queen e6 and g4. Queen d5. Probably going to be a draw, I'm guessing. G4. I, I don't know why Bornick's trying to win this. This is insane. Queen e2 and g2. Queen e1. King f5, maybe? I think it was supposed to be a draw. Very lucky for Bortnik. Yeah, game odds in a draw. Very lucky draw. Very, very lucky. Um, Jose is still playing. Looks like a draw. Rook and three versus Rook and three. Should be a draw. It's also always Rook a5 check, I guess. Oh, the black's getting an extra pawn here, so rook a7, e5. e5. Tum, tum, tum. Hmm. King g3. Uh, 
I mean, rookie five is still a draw, amongst other things. Rookie eight. Or no, sorry, rookie seven was the move, not rookie eight. Okay. And now I lose this. Rookie seven was the move. Very, very poor play by this NM. Very, very poor play. So Jose survives again, gets another another miracle win out of nowhere. So he's on four out of four. Bunch of people on four out of four. All right, you guys. So I think I am going to take my break. If I'm not mistaken, there is a six-minute break after round four. So I'm going to take my break, and we'll be right back, you guys. Where was the break? There's supposed to be a six-minute break. What the heck? There's supposed to be a six-minute break. They messed up there. They messed up. There's there's a six-minute break after round four. Round three? No, this was round four, you guys. What are you talking about? This was round four. I'm on four or no. What are you talking about? Unbelievable. That's just unbelievable. very annoying because there, there should have been a break fortunately the position is actually very stable here so I'm doing relatively well I guess I take with a bishop. I don't know what's the best move. Let's just drop back. And take. See, this is where I need the time. This is where I need the time to be able to calculate, but I don't have it. Really annoying, honestly. Really annoying. So let's just go here, I guess. Takes with a bitch, but I actually did not expect that. Um, I just don't have time. Luckily, the time is kind of evening out, but yeah. Thanks so much for brilliant spec, appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's using all his time here, so let's see. Rook off one, good move. Still trying to flag him, maybe. I 
Almost blundered my queen there. That would have been very poor. Whoops, what's my queen doing? I mean, it has a draw with rook g7, but so be it. It's a blunder, by the way. Should be winning now. Checkmate. There we go. There we go. Checkmate. Get a big win. Five out of five. Big, big win. All right, we got the win, five out of five. I don't know, now they're probably gonna say there's a break or something, I don't know. There are five out of five, um, no breaks needed, all gas. Something like that, I don't know. Ridiculous, but anyway, we got the win. I guess you can take a break every round. Yeah Um, okay four Okay, should be a draw just Yeah, okay, we got a draw in this game do I feel like I had rude behavior? No, I mean, I, I don't think Paravian did anything wrong. It was completely fine, um, but yeah. I won both title Tuesdays. Um, uh, first time I started doing it, I think. I won them both, but yeah. So yeah, anyway, five out of five. Um, But yeah. Let's see how many games are going. Still some games. Okay, one game left. Let's see what's happening. This game's still going. Knight g3. Rook g1 is mate. All right, so there we go. We get the... Um, let me let me double check now. Let's see. Do we have a break after round five? Okay, now there's a six-minute break after round five. Yeah, now there's a six-minute break. So now I am actually going to clear my head. I'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys are back. So... All right, round six will be coming up pretty soon. What's the score? Dubov, Shugarov, Jocelyn, myself on five. So pretty pretty stacked field so far. Pretty stacked. Once again, sorry if I can't thank all the subs, by the way. Thank you so much to um, Smile with Heart for the seven months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it's kind of hard. I only have one monitor. So it is what it is, but that's life. Anyway, we're on, we're on a five out of five. So we're trying to push forward and go, go towards the perfect 11 out of 11. Dubov's been in good form. I feel like Dubov's been in good form, but somehow he never actually wins these events. It's very weird. Like, he finishes second and third, it feels like, but I don't feel like he actually wins that many. Did I see MBL, MBL's win and Magnus has lost? I saw Magnus somehow drew the uh, classical game. I didn't see the Armageddon game. But, yeah. Anyway. Waiting for round number six should be starting pretty soon. Um... 
The Dubov that refused to wear a mask, yes, that Dubov. Anyway. Alright. Tari won the Armageddon? Yeah, I heard he won. I didn't actually see it, but yeah. Should be starting pretty soon, I think. Um, thanks so much to Fearless Bird of Paradise for 17 months. Thanks so much to Fearless Bird of Paradise. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. How do I feel about joining Title Tuesday in round one? You mean uh, first first one? I feel okay. I'm a little bit tired, honestly, but uh, still trying to still trying to finish it finish off in style here. All right. Um. So far, so good. Still waiting for the next game. Kind of annoying, um, but it is what it is. Famous clock is still behind. Yes, the clock is still behind me. As you guys can tell, it's gotten a lot later from earlier. Um, so it's nearly midnight. Yeah, it's like 11.58. So um, yeah, it's quite, quite late here. But anyway, yeah. Do I think Rajabov's disappointing performance in Norwich has a bad sign for the Cavs? Hardly. Um, we get Shugarov, somebody I've played way too many times um, online, so let's keep going. Yeah, it's pretty late. Uh, my clock does that too, it gets late, yeah. Okay, I'm probably going to play something simple and stable. Yeah, let's be stable here, I guess. Probably gonna do something very slow here. Let's take. Let's go here. I believe it's castles in D4. I'm trying to remember how these lines go. Ah. what he does here um goes queen c7 i assume knight f3 is the move but i don't know huh actually i don't have any idea what the move is so i'm gonna go knight f3 because so i figure i can take uh take f6 Could have played h3 too, but whatever. Queen e7 is kind of a weird move, I have to say. I'll we'll go here on bishop e2. It's gonna go rook d8 and I go like bishop e2. I mean, knight d4 is a move, knight a4, actually I kind of like to go knight b6 to hit everything. I think my position is pretty good here. Um, now it gives me a pawn, I can actually go here takes and takes, but is it actually a good pawn or a poison pawn? A little bit unsure, if I'm unsure then I probably should just stabilize with rook c1 and then knight b6. Yeah, it's very late to have coffee now, you guys. Because if I have coffee, then I'm not going to sleep tonight. And that would be a big mistake. It was bishop e6. I don't actually like that. Okay, now I think knight d4. And I think I should be doing quite well. Takes, which I don't like either. Because now I think with the queen, and now he's a problem on the diagonal as well. Yeah, rook c8, I expected that. But I feel like I should be better somehow. Maybe not though. Maybe I should play knight b6 first. I think I still can play knight b6 here. Definitely trying to do something. Um, it goes h6. Knight b6. Okay. 
can move my queen as well. I'm trying to figure this out. Queen h4 is an interesting choice. Let's do it. So I still have knight b6. There's still a lot of pressure here. Could have played rook fd1 also. He goes knight e4. And I guess I have to trade. I guess I have to go rook fd1. I mean, I have knight b6 somewhere here, but... I think I misplayed this a little bit. Maybe I should have gone knight b6 right away. I don't know, that might have been a better choice. Yeah, because now knight c3 has got like bishop f6 or something. Yeah. Can I actually get away with it though? Let's see. I'm going to try to get away with this. I might lose the game, but I'm going to go for the hero play. Guard the guard the knight. Oh, maybe rook c6 first was better actually. I think a rook c6 first was a much better move. Cause I lose a tempo here. That's the problem. I lose a tempo here after his next move if he finds it. See if he finds it. He might not find it actually. Now that I look at it, it's not, I, th I thought, yeah, I thought this was clean at first, but now. Still probably a draw though. Hmm. Have to try to win this, it's gonna be very, very hard. He's got no time though. Finds out, which is a great move. Um. Actually, the question though is, can I actually bring my rook in somehow? Ugh. Hmm. I probably had some for one move. Trying to go like work d4 or something, but. It's getting tricky actually. He goes f5, wait, wait, wait a second. He's actually misplaying this. Wait, maybe I can win this somehow. Okay, I'm gonna try to run my king in. Somehow I have to do something. How do I do this? Rook D. Okay, I'm trying to infiltrate here. But now my age pawn rolls. I might be winning now. I think I'm winning. Yeah, I think I'm winning. There we go. Another win. Six out of six. Big, big win. Big, 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 big win. Get the win. Six out of six. Keep rolling along. Five to go. Cannot complain. We take those. We take those dubs. Uh, let's see. Who else is playing? Dulles is still playing somebody probably. Oh, Dubov wins also. So, okay. So Benjamin, by the way, Benjamin on five and a half. You're really climbing as well. So yeah, big matchup coming up in the next game. Big, big matchup. Big, big matchup. Good at chess, handsome, etc. Yeah, trying. 
It's looking good, yeah. It's looking good, but still a long way to go. I mean, Dubov, very strong player. I'd probably also get black against Dubov, which isn't what I want. I mean, if I'm trying to go for 11 out of 11, I have to take big risks. I'm just trying to think of how big of a risk I want. Do I want to gamble against Dubov or not? My assumption is I should just be, I should just be stable, but I, I think I'm going to go for it. I mean, why not? Yeah, I think it's worth a shot here on 6 out of 6. Why not? I think it makes more sense than being stable. I'm good. Tupov is weak. Dubov is not weak. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, either I'm going to go for go for the hero play or, you know, it's just not going to be me meant to be. But I'm going to go for it, definitely. Yeah, let's see. I was thinking what I'm going to do. Oh, he plays C4. Okay, so let's see. Playing something unusual here. Um, you can obviously go D4. I'm gonna just drop back. No, Dubov has actually played the English many times against me, so it's not something new. You know, Crypto Game in Germany for the two months. Queen B3, interesting move. Not the move I was expecting. I mean, this does give me Knight D4, no? Ah, uh, but then takes, takes, knight b5, c5. Oh, is he gonna, well, if he sacks, he sacks, so be it. Whatever, that's life. Oh, he just goes queen d1, that's strange. I did not expect that. Let's go here. Probably knight d2, c6 or something. You know, I'll go c6, close the diagonal. Probably I'll play like h3. I guess I'll go this way. I don't know if I should go this way or go back to e6, but I want to keep pressure on e2 here somehow. Seems relatively stable. So he does. Hmm. I suspect bishop e6 was a better move, but I, I don't know. This doesn't seem like it should be bad either. I can go queen d7. I know, it seems safe enough to me unless I'm crazy. Just rook d8, Just try to play it stable. Go here and take. This bishop also is a little bit awkward. I have f6, h6 here. Knight b3, so he wants bishop d2. I can play f6, I guess. Question is, do I take on b3 or not also? I mean, there are a lot of options here. I'm going to take and probably take and go bishop f7. I can also play knight e6 here. I'm just going to go bishop f7 next move. I feel like with this chain, I should be fine. Yeah, knight a5 makes a lot of sense. Rook a c8, of course. Idea B6. Now, Queen A4 is a reasonable move, but I thought I had Knight C5 here to hit the Queen and then B6 maybe. Now I'll come back and play Bishop F7. Again, I should be completely fine here. Okay, it goes D4, very reasonable move. Um, 
Or is it? Wait, or is it? Actually, I don't think it's a good move objectively, but it's going to be tough to prove. Um, G6, Queen, B2, E4 is playable. Hmm. Let's go for it. Oh, wait. Oh, he's got queen c4, which I just forgot. Oh my gosh, I just forgot all about queen c4. Oy, oy, oy. Thought I could just take these check. Very poor. Okay. Um. Yeah, now this is going to get messy. Um. I'll go here, knight f7, maybe? Oh, I also have knight h3, maybe. Oh, he can also take, which I didn't even see. <laughs> okay, he goes g4, so now... Wait. Wait, what do I think I had here? Wait, I thought I had some trick here. Queen d5, rookie 1, c4. c1, c3. Okay, let's go for it. This might not be good. d4... I should have thought before playing this, by the way. This is kind of insane to do this without thinking. Go so here, I have bishop a3 maybe? I also have c3, wait, let's go here. I don't know what that does. Actually, that does nothing. Yeah, I'm actually starting to miss stuff now. I thought I could take, but I can't. Okay, goes knight c6. Now I can obviously sack. Wait, what's, what's that? I'm gonna go here and rook f8, maybe. Whoa, what just happened to my, jeez. I gotta move. Whoa, what is that? That's... We got the win. Seven out of seven, you guys. Big win. Jeez, crazy game. If he had played 97, he wins the game. I mean, if he plays 97, it's GG. I don't know why he didn't go 90 97, I think, was just game over, unless I'm insane. Yeah, 97 is GG. I, I don't know why he didn't play 97. It was such an obvious win. And I mean, it's still winning, but now, yeah, after Rook B7, now I have to worry about checks, this, like, counterplay. It's still winning, but yeah, very, very weird from Dubov. Anyway, seven out of seven. Uh, we're one point clear of the field, it looks like. Um, so yeah, pretty good stuff. He car effect, that's why something like that, but yeah. Yeah, crazy game, crazy game, but we got the win. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you for the three bucks, my man, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I, I I knew this was coming sooner or later, but yeah, mods can mods can mute it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for three bucks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for three dollars. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I panic. I, nothing nothing goes right. Yeah, we know that. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Bangladesh. 
Yeah. This guy's been banned like five times and he keeps coming back for more. It's very, very strange. Yeah, very strange. Yeah. Didn't hear what we say. Yeah, he said something. I, I didn't catch it all, but yeah, it's all good. Thank you so much to Raptuskagal for the eight months. Thank you so much to Raptuskagal. Yeah, so we're eight out of eight trying to do our best. Um, one point clear right now, so it's all looking pretty good. Yeah, looking good. Okay, let's see. Where's the next game? Still should be some games going. Okay, let's watch Exotic Princess. He wins his game. Okay. Oh, I did win the first title Tuesday. Indeed, I did. But, yeah. Nice move. G4 takes an H5. H6. GG. Okay. So, let's see. Standings. Yeah, so if I put together like three good games, I mean, I'm probably going to win the tournament, but we'll see. Yeah, so far, so good. A physical GNU for the four months. Thank you so much to physical GNU. Appreciate it. Thank you. Are you willing with the more title Tuesday wins? I probably have the most wins, but I, I don't know how many it is. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, we're not delayed. We're not delayed. There's just, uh, there's just, we're, we're waiting for the next game to begin. Will this be available tomorrow? Hopefully. Um, I don't know. Hopefully. They get blackness on Drake in around eight. Okay. I'm one point clear. So, uh, this is tough. Do I go for broke or do I stay stable? I'm going to try to go for broke. You guys, I I'm not going to play a Catalan. I'm going to play something aggressive. I'm going to try to do something different. Yeah, I, I'm just going to go for broke. I'm on 7 out of 7 on a point clear. You don't, you don't get to go for 8 out of 8 every day, so why not? Yeah. You don't get to go for 8 out of 8 every every Tuesday, so... Uh, actually, I mean, 8 out of 8 is, is really, really good. So, okay, I'm going to play C6. Um, let's go here and Bishop F7, maybe. I actually don't know if I'm going to go Bishop G7 or E7 here. I'm a little bit unsure, I have to say. Plays 92. I mean, this is actually kind of weird. I don't know where my bishop belongs. Does it belong on e7 or g7? It's kind of a strange spot to be in. I'm going to assume that I'm not pushing, so I'm going to go here. Let's go here. I don't actually know. Okay, it goes b4, so he's trying to commit to the queen side. Kind of expected that. Let's go a6, why not? I think I'm going to play h5, g5. I think I'm actually going to go after him on the king side. Okay, so I play h4, he goes b5. Actually, you know, the more I look at this, the less I like it, I have to be honest. So I guess I'll go here. Just castle, I guess. You can obviously trade at some point. So he goes queen b3 logical. I can actually take with a c pawn at some point. I don't think I will. a b5 is always a move. I also have knight b6. I guess I'll take. Why not? And play like rook c8. Or knight b6. I think rook c8 first is stable, more stable though. Okay, trades. I take, of course. Yeah, rook b1 is pretty logical. I can still go like king g7, I guess. Problem is, it's going to be very hard to win this as well. This is the other problem I'm encountering. Let's go here and consolidate. Don't like the way I've played this either, I have to be honest. I really don't like the way I've played this. It's still completely fine, but it's going to be very, very hard to win. So 
So it's H4, I mean, I'll just go here, consolidate, I guess. G5 is always lurking, but it's probably too aggressive at the moment. Maybe I can go g5, bishop g6 at some point, but it feels too loose somehow. It just doesn't seem right. And it goes queen b7. There's no actual threat, though, after this move. So bishop d8 is a move. I don't know if this is the right move, but it seems like a move. Oh, did I miss this? I did. Yikes. Luckily, I have knight b8. Ooh, that was almost a mistake by me. I have queen a5, maybe? I mean, I can also just go back, I guess. Am I going to really try to win this somehow, or is this just going to be a draw? I mean, rook b8 is a move, but... No, he's got queen c6. What am I doing? No, no, I, I should just make the draw. Just force. Oh, he goes queen b7. So now he doesn't want to draw. Weird. Okay, so wait. So if I trade, trade bishop a5, maybe? Still trying to do something. I mean, I'll go here on bishop e8, of course. Probably I go knight a6 after knight d2. I should be okay here. Maybe it's bishop f3, logical. I can play c5. Kind of like it, actually. Still probably a draw, but I like it at least. Oh, I blundered. Oh, that's a nice tactic. I mean, I have to give him props. He found a nice one. Back. Go here in rook a3 maybe. I can still maybe keep pressure alive, but it's not. It's not so easy actually for white to win this. Oh, what did I do? Whoops. He let me get a trick, actually. Okay, I should be able to draw this if I play this correctly. Oh, I found another good move. This must be a draw. Yeah, that's a draw I go here. Yeah, tough game. I almost swindled him here at the end. I mean, I almost got him at the end. Oh no, king f6, oh no. 
Oh my god, why did I not? Oh. Oh no, King F6. Ah, oh, King F6. Ah. I mean, mind you, I blundered earlier. I had no business winning, but oh, that's. Oh, that's frustrating. I knew there was something, and then when it's, it's one move too late. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, that's so frustrating. I think I mentioned it, but I just thought, why not make the check? Ah, that's so frustrating. It's a draw. I mean, it's it's what it is, but that that's a little bit heartbreaking. So if I win that game, I definitely win the tournament. Anyway, let me make sure on Slack. I think this is when we have another break, but let me sure. Let me be sure. I think in my mind when I saw King F6, I thought just Knight F3 and Knight takes E1. And so I thought, okay, I might as well just check first. But yeah, frustrating. Let me make sure. Don't take off screen breaks. Well, yeah. Okay, now they, they say it's the final break. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna take my final break. We'll be back in one second. We're gonna make a, make a, make a run, try to win the event, finish out in style. I'll be right back. Ah, it's so frustrating. We're back, you guys. Yeah, that's very, very frustrating. On the other hand, I could have lost, too. I very easily could have lost that game. So, anyway. Yeah, we're on um, 7.5 out of 8. Looking pretty good so far. Can't complain. Um, I'll get 500 subs. You get 11 out of 11. That sounds like a pretty bad deal, actually. So, anyway. But I also could have lost that game, to be fair, as I was thinking about when I went to the restroom. There were, there were a couple times I could have also lost very easily. So it is what it is. Uh, next round is round number nine. There are three rounds left, you guys. Three rounds. We're leading by half a point. I mean, very, very tight field right now. A lot of people on six and a half, too. I think I have to play Jobava though, most likely. So I just have to play one good game against Jobava and everything will be fine. That's so frustrating though, because I, I should have won that game, but that's life. So next Tuesday will be the last room for the candidates. I do believe so, yes, you guys. Um, it should be next Tuesday is what the 14th. Yeah. Next Tuesday will be the last stream. Yes. Next Tuesday will be the last stream before the candidates. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'll probably stream on Monday as well. I'll probably stream Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the big finale, um, before, before, before then, but we'll see. What about the RCC this weekend? I will play the RCC this weekend. Yes, I will. I will play the RCC. So, yeah. Still waiting for the next game to begin. Um, yeah, and we're, we're doing pretty well. We are leading seven, seven and a half out of eight, so can't complain. We need Reddit React. I did Reddit React earlier, you guys. Uh, I did Reddit React on the morning stream uh, for the first title Tuesday. Need to pay for that Airbnb? Yeah, yeah. Bills ain't cheap, as the saying goes. Yeah, bills ain't cheap. I did play Dubov. I beat Dubov in round number seven. So, yeah. Do I stream 24 hours? I mean, I've done two 24-hour streams. I, I I mean, I've done two, but that's, that's it. So, yeah. We won't see you um, until the weekend after this. Yeah, after this, you'll see me on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. I'll probably stream Monday, and I'll pro and then I'll definitely stream Tuesday. So that's what we have. So yeah, uh, happy for you, man. Still, still remember when we we're like hundred people in here. See where you are now. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much to Anima CIQ. Thank you so much. Appreciate it for the kind words. Thank you so much to Joe P for the thirteen. Thank you so much to Joe P. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, okay, I, I assume we're starting momentarily.
Why am I in San Sebastian? Um, probably because Levon Aronian is here, and um, so is Ruslan Ponomarna. Both of them, uh, Quaza. I think Ruslan definitely lives here, and Levon is here uh, for fair amount, fair chunks of time as well. I think he owns a house. So, um, yeah, that's probably the reason I'm in San Sebastian. So, yeah, all right. Anyway, okay. Um, 10 points away from 3,200. True, true. Uh, will I continue to stream if you become world champion? Of course, you guys. I'm a streamer first, chess player second. But candidates is a rare opportunity. So because of that, I am trying to focus on it. So, yeah. Um, anyway. Um, am I going to watch the Rangers games or still prep for the candidates? Well, game four is tonight. They better win. They got way too uh, passive in game three, unfortunately. Um way too passive so we'll see uh, i said somebody throw off my opponents not particularly you guys i'm stating a fact so anyone can take that any way they want they can assume that i'm just saying that because but that is reality um levon i think has owned uh own uh, owned a house here for like a at least a decade, I think. Ruslan's been living here for, I want to say, close to maybe like 15 years. Ruslan's been in Spain for a very long time now. So, oh, it's my move. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to play E4. Uh, I think I'm going to play E4. Why not? Play something very slow and simple here. I, I don't really want to play something aggressive. I should have played d4 too. Why didn't I go d4? Play d4, of course. Okay, a4, interesting move. I can obviously play e5 if I want to. I don't really want to play that. Maybe I'll just go here and target the knight. Keep it very simple. Yeah, rook e8, I expect that. I can play e5. Kind of want to play b3. I really don't know why I want to play b3, but I'm going to play it. I hope this isn't a terrible move, because I kind of want to just play B3 and play chess. It's a little bit weird, I know, but let's go here. It's a little bit weird the way I'm playing this. I don't really know why I'm doing this, but it seems like the position's stable enough. Um, let's go here. Maybe E5. Maybe I trade. Okay, so he finally takes. I'll take. Now I can play G4. I can probably even move the bishop, honestly. I can also play Knight C5, but I don't really like that. Um, I also don't know why if this pawn structure it's not particularly adequate, but so be it. Now here I thought I could go knight c5. Um, yeah, I don't really like my position, I have to be honest. Okay, wait a second. Okay, let's slow this down a second. Knight c5 is obviously fine. Queen c3 I'm sure it's fine too. Why am I thinking so long? I'm just suddenly thinking for no reason. I should have gone to d3 also. Yeah, suddenly I'm thinking like forever. So I'll go here and force him to trade. I don't like my position, I have to be honest. It goes queen c7, which I think I'm happy to see. Let's go. I'm playing a little, I'm also playing a little bit too quickly with, with this, but so the thing with this is that I think now I can go like, oh, knight c5, he's got queen g3. Let's go here, I wanna go knight c5. But I played the wrong order again. Yeah, now I blundered e5, and I, I might lose this game, because I'm just playing this like an idiot. Let's go here, target the pawn. I have to be very careful how I play this. Okay, 
Ain't logical. I'm playing this very poorly. I don't know exactly what's wrong with me, but I'm just not playing this game very well. Plays rook d8. I saw that as a move, but wait, this hangs a pawn, I think. He blundered a pawn. Actually, Jobava just blundered a pawn for no reason. Now maybe I'm better. Okay, let's see. Rook c6 is wrong. e4 is a move. Kind of like knight c5 and e4. But it's still very tricky to play. Knight a5, knight b4. Can obviously take d5, I don't want to. Yeah, I saw this and now what's my plan though? I don't know what my next move is, why did I do this? I'm gonna go here. This feels wrong, but eesh. my king is very weak too. I mean, maybe I just go a5, a6, and try to run the pawn. I don't see the threat. Um, wait, I can't do that. Wait, I just have to move. Um. Don't actually see a threat, so I'm gonna go a5. Is there an actual threat? Wait. Go here. Be very careful. It was rook b8, I don't understand what that does exactly. Okay, um, here I guess. Joe Bob has definitely misplayed this. Though I allowed this, which I shouldn't have allowed. Gotta find a move, you gotta find a move. I just have to move. Why am I thinking so long? Yes, he blundered rook d7. Yes, I got him. Mm, let's go. We got him. He finally makes a huge blunder. This was a very, very up and down game, but we finally get him to, to, to blunder. Yeah, he's going to resign soon, I think. Whoa, come on, mouse. There we go. Yes, we get the win. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him, yeah. So we get another win, big win. Kind of makes up because there were like two or three title twos where I messed up good positions before. And this was not a really a great position, but we get the win. Okay, so we're one point clear with two to go. And we got an epic tiebreaker. So I think if I draw two games, I, I win the whole thing easily because Dubov is the only guy who has a good tiebreaker. So... Yeah, if, if I just draw two games, I'm going to win because I have a 12-point tiebreaker lead. But we'll see what happens. Depends who I get, all sorts of different things going on. What's wrong with your mouse? Uh, I have my mouse, you guys. I have a table. I have no key. I have no, um, no mouse pad.
That's the thing, I've got no mouse pad, so I'm literally, I'm doing it on cable. So yeah. Okay, so there are three guys on seven and a half. Actually, Bulldog is kind of mildly close. Yeah, no pad. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm moving the mouse on the table. 50k prep and can't afford a mouse pad. Yeah, you guys, it's life. Do they have a Target, Walmart, and Spain? No, of course not. They have um, probably Spar, but Spar is just groceries. I don't know what the biggest box store is in, um, in, in, uh, in Spain. I mean, Spar is just a, like a grocery store, so it's a little bit different. But yeah. They don't, what, what'd you say? They don't have them tables? Yeah. Car oh, Carry 4. Yeah, Carry 4 has some stuff, but yeah. Let's see. Jossum and Anawal. Okay, we have El Clasico, one of the El Clasicos. Now, Jossum's gotten really lucky today. He's won like three games by, uh, three games from dead drawn positions, so. I mean, I don't really see it happening. The three seconds. It's Rook H1. Or Rook E1. That's also a good move. Now there's rook c3, king e2. I'd probably go rook c1. Rook f1 and then rook c1 back. King d1, okay, again, back for a draw. Check, check, king c1. Yeah, now just check and king d1. How many moves have they played, by the way? I feel like they've played a ton of moves. Uh oh, uh oh. King d1. It was almost winning for white, actually. Rook f1. I guess it's still a draw, but... Okay, game ends in a draw. Very, very tough game. Okay, so I have a 9.25 tiebreak on Bulldog. So if I just play two good games of chess... I think I'm just gonna play chess, and if I don't like my position out of the opening, I'll offer a draw. Oh, this is, uh, oh, I thought this was Rasmus. This is Frederick Svein. This is Rasmus's little brother. I think it's his little brother, Frederick. I saw Svein, and I thought it was like Rasmus, but it's not actually Rasmus. It's, uh, it's, um, it's his brother, Frederick. You can obviously trade. I'm just gonna trade and play standard just here and here. Okay, let's go here. Sing for a long time. Okay, plays rook D, which does give me knight D5, and I'm gonna go for it. Should be pretty happy here. I've got bishop B5, C6. This looks. Fairly ugly for black. I mean, I've got the great op combo, c5, rook d1, bishop f3 also. This looks like a very nice position. I'm probably just going to play the game now. So if I win this, I think I just win the whole event with a round of spare. Let's just go here, target the pawn. I suggest that you just play chess. Yeah, I mean, that, that is part of the plan. You want to do this to stop bishop g4. Let's go here, target the pawn. I'm probably just going to stack even. Six flags.
Um, I think I'm just gonna go here and stack. So I'll go here, maybe Rook D1. Such a dream for me though. I mean, it's just such a dream. Of course I'll stack. I mean, you can always go D5, but it's probably just so unpleasant to play this for black. Because I can just sit on the position forever. Oh, queen b2 is actually a bad move by me. I'm gonna try to bring my queen up here. Queen b6, wait, so if I go queen a5, try to trade some queens off here. Pawn is very soft. This is my chance to just end, end any drama here and just win this game cleanly. How's there no win, really? Okay, let's just go here. He finds Rook C, which is a great move. Um, only move, actually. That being said, I think this is winning. Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go... Here, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just playing a delayed move to see what he does. I go here. He blunders. Now I go here, and now his rook is stuck. And he didn't have queen a6 side bishop d8, creating the um, creating the uh, fossil. Problem with this is I don't have to take. I'm just going to play f3 first to stop any funky business. Don't know what that does. Let's go f4. Okay, fine. Let's just take go here. Uh, does rook d6 actually win? 98. Oh, 98 bishop b4. I think it wins, but you know what? Why do I even want to like mess around? There's like literally no reason to mess around. So let's just play slow, simple chess. I, I really want to do it, but I mean, there's there's just no need for it. I can just win on the board. Yeah, okay, we got the win. All right, so I think we're on our way to, to victory land after this win. Um, very, very good stuff. Very, very good stuff. We're, we're just crushing it today. Yeah, I mean, the time just killed him. King h1 is a super cannon move. I played king h1 because I wanted him to go king e7. Like, I wanted to play this bishop a5, but the thing is... Um, let me turn on the line so you guys can see it. Yeah, the thing is that in this position, I wanted to go here, but he, Or, sorry. I wanted to go here, but after queen a6, I mean, it's not clear-cut what I do. So I go here and wait for the blunder, and then I go here, and now queen a6 just loses to bishop d8. So I collect the queen. And so I, I just did it. It's like the Jabate. He plays king e7 to defend, but now he can't go here because of the, the fossil. And then he has to go here. And then after bishop c6, it's, of course, completely lost. So we get the win. We're on 9.5 out of 10. We're just smoking it today. Let's see how many games we have going. Bunch of games. Play the Bong Cloud next game. Do I have it in the bag? I do, kind of, but I'm also 3197. I kind of don't want to do that. Kind of don't really want to do that in the final game. Yeah, it's not the, it's not the time for it. So yeah, go for ten and a half. Yeah, I mean, of course, that's a big part of it. Let's look at the standings. Okay, so I mean, I have a nine point two five lead on tiebreak. So I assume even if I play bulldog and lose, I I win. But I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna try to win the last game. Why not? No reason not to. Just win and get some sleep, indeed. That's one way of putting it.
kind of makes up a little bit for what um makes up a little bit for the, that disaster in the in the uh, RCC. Because I mean, I lost this horrible match to um to uh to to Jules Mustard, which was just terrible. I never should have lost that match, but um, I did. So this kind of makes up a little bit for that. What time is it there? It is currently twelve fifty one in the morning. Yeah. Uh, Benjamin was on a fire. He had five and a half out of six, but I don't see him at the top. He must have lost a few games in a row. Yeah, he must have lost a few games in a row. Colonel Mustard killed Icaro in Spain with a rook. Yeah, that, I'm still upset about that match. But on the flip side, I was super tired because after that match ended, I literally went to bed. I fell asleep immediately after I finished that match. So um, so I, it's probably a good thing because otherwise, Knight of Four wins, by the way. What is Rook B5? Knight F4 is winning for Jules Mustard. I mean, Knight F4 is such an obvious move. So bad. B7, gotta go G5, G6, but I think he's too slow here. Maybe he's not, we'll see. Thank you to Fantasia for the four months. Thank you so much, Fantasia, appreciate it. Jules is moving really fast here. G5, G6, only try. Okay. Check. But now the pawn is too fast and you lose knight f4 and you just lose the game. Yeah. Bond Cloud or Riot? Thank you to Project Disciple for the four months. Um, okay. Yeah, the pawns are too fast. You just can't defend this. Whoa. Um, gotta go, Jules. King F6. What? 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 Rook F takes and just take. Oh, what on A3? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. What did I just see happen? So wait. What? Wait. Oh, he played. Oh my. He played Knight C5. Are you for real? Wait. And now it's a draw again. Just A3, A2. You don't move the knight. Okay. Wait, knight c3, no! Oh wait, a stalemate, rook b3, it's still a draw. Never mind, it's still a stalemate. Oh man. He almost threw that, but he had the stalemate with rook b3. That was a crazy game. All right, uh, insane game. Okay, we're in final round, round number round number 11 here. Let's look at the standings. I mean, I'm up by 10, so it's fine, but I'm still just gonna try to play a good game of chess here and win. I have played this guy before, I think. Oh, is he happy with a draw here? Yeah, he's happy with a draw. Okay, that's no, no, no need to, no need to, uh, no need to push the envelope here. If he's happy with a draw, a draw is good. Um, that's good enough. Yeah, yeah, a draw is good enough. I, I actually I didn't see it when he offered it, but yeah, we got a draw. Okay, let's watch another game. Let's see what's happening. In the game between. Um, Let's see the game between Erich Hansen and Daniil Dubov. We have um, some kind of Sicilian. We get G5 played here by Erich. Or no, sorry, played by Dubov. G4, Knight D2 takes. I guess you take with the C pawn. So if you take if you take with the E pawn, I can bring the bishop out. So probably you, you take this way, yeah. Has Eric ever won a title two set? I think in late 2021, he actually did win one. Or maybe it was already in 2022. He won one, I feel like. I feel like he won one time. But I think it was very recently. Sometime within the last few months. A draw, but what about the content? There's no need to go for broke. Just no need to go for broke. Thank you so much to Cards Cook for the eight months. Thank you so much Cards Cook. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you so much to Ayrton J6 as well. Thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Ayrton J6. All right, so H5, H4 is the idea. Um, I guess takes is a move. Your camera is a little bit of a flicker and not annoying, just to let you know. 
Um, yeah, touch. I mean, it's it's what it is. That's that's life. You guys, I'm on the road, but um, yeah, we we get we get the win at any rate, which is good. I get my rating up to 3190, so it's approaching. It's approaching respectability. It's not quite there yet, but almost almost respectable. Nine more points to go, but uh, yeah, definitely can't complain with my performance today. Definitely can't complain. So it's it's been pretty good. Very very good performance so far. All right, you guys. Um, so anyway, we do get the win um, in Title Tuesday. It is getting late here, so I, do, I don't think I'm going to hang around and watch the rest of the uh, rest of the event. So I think on that note, I'm going to be calling it a day, you guys. It's been a pretty pretty long day for me again. Um, but we do win two Title Tuesdays. I'm pretty happy.